Today, let's write two programs in which we'll be using the uh, arithmetic operators that we have learnt. The first program that I'll take up is write a program that inputs the radius and calculates the area and volume of a sphere. Okay, now we'll write the program for this. First of all, we'll include the header files iostream.h and conio.h are included. Then the main method starts here. We can uh, use CLR SAR function, which is there in uh, conio.h, to clear the screen. Okay, now we take the variables. Okay, now first of all I take float radius, right? And then we'll have in the same line we could have written float area comma volume, right? All the three I'm taking as float because uh, the calculations it will result, it can give the result in decimals, right? Okay, now the next step is the first of all you should know the uh, formula for this area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared four pi r squared and area of a uh, uh, sorry volume of a sphere is uh, 4 by 3 pi r cubed right We have to apply this, right? Fine. Now let's come back to this. See out. So first of all, we need to know the radius of the sphere so that we can calculate these uh, area and volume. So here I write see out. Enter the radius of the sphere, and then, and here the user will enter. So C in radius, right? that goes into the variable radius. After this, calculate the area, right? Area is what? 4 into pi has the value 3.14, fine. Into r squared, that is radius into radius, fine. So this is the area. Now I'm going to put my C out statements here, see, C out. The area of the sphere with radius, and here I put this variable radius is area like this, and then end in. So here this will print this string, the area of the sphere with radius and after that whatever is the value inside this variable radius that will come, right? So supposing the user has entered the value of the radius as uh, 5, then it will print the area of the sphere with radius 5 is and then area, the area that we have calculated here. Fine. So that's how it will be done. Now let's calculate the volume. Right. So now what is the volume of the sphere? The volume of the sphere is 4 by 3. Right. 4 by 3 into 3.14 into radius into radius into radius. This expression, this expression has basically got division and um, division and multiplication, right? And um, here I'll do one thing. A 
if you want you can put this 3.14 also into a variable here you can take something like this float pi is equal to 3.14 if you want you can do this and instead of writing into 3.14 here you can write uh, into pi right so instead of this if you want you can put like this so that we have all the variables here pi and here also we can have like this 4 by 3 into pi right into radius into radius into radius right so this is 4 by 3 pi r cubed right then um, as i said the division operator and the multiplication operator both have the same precedence and the associativity is from left to right so first of all this will be done 4 by 3 into pi it will go like this right then you have c out the area of the sphere with rate, uh, sorry the volume of the sphere now we are uh, printing the volume the volume of the sphere with radius here again I'll put the radius right is here we will put the volume and then end it right okay so that's all you have to do in this program so after this we have to close the main method. I will give a get ch here so that the output process if you are uh, using the turbo c++ right and then um, return 0 and then we close the bracket for the main method right. <coughs> so this is how this program will be written a very simple program in which we have just used the multiplication and the division operators right now another program write a program that converts celsius temperature into its fahrenheit equivalent using the following formula right the formula is f is equal to 9 by 5 c that is celsius right plus 30p this is the formula sorry 30p right <clears throat> now for this we have to write a program so hash include i stream dot h int main clear screen here and then first of all you take a float variable for Celsius then a float variable for Fahrenheit right okay okay now see out enter the temperature in Celsius the user has to enter the temperature in Celsius and then the program will convert it into Fahrenheit right So here you have, this is endel, right, and then uh, the user will enter that, so that is like this, C in C, right. Now we will write F is equal to, this is, if you want, you can put it in brackets like this if you want, otherwise also it will do it, 9 by 5 into 
Celsius, right, plus 32. This is the expression, 9 by 5 into Celsius plus 32. Even if you don't put this in brackets, it will evaluate it like this only because uh, this division and multiplication, this has got the same precedence, higher precedence than addition. So, same precedence for this division and multiplication. So, this will be evaluated first, left to right associativity. So, 9 by 5 into Celsius will be done then. And then finally, the result will be added with 32, right? Now, we have found out the uh, Faraday's equivalent, it just has to be printed, right? The temperature in Celsius is C, right? And it's, you can uh, put it in separate lines if you want say out the Fahrenheit equivalent is F fine that's it and then you end the program like this the main method is closed here so these are two simple programs <clears throat> in which we have used the arithmetic operators. First, we wrote a program to find out the area and volume of a sphere, and then this converting the Celsius into its Fahrenheit equivalent. Hope you have understood both these programs. So, with this, I uh, come to the end of this session on operators and expressions. Bye.